How to intermittent fast. On the 16 and eight, that's what I do on a daily basis. It has become my lifestyle. It has become the easiest way for me to see all of the print profound benefits of intermittent fasting. This is how you intermittent fast on a 16 and eight. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Keep watching. Intermittent fasting is something that you restrict the time frame that you eat on a daily basis. Most people eat for hours a day, meaning they wake up, they start eating, they have breakfast, then they eat lunch, then they eat dinner, and they have a snack. Most people eat outside of a 12 hour eating window. What I try to do on a daily basis is cut that eating window from 12 hours down to about eight hours. 16 hours of fasting, eight hours a day feeding, because when you're doing that, you will see profound benefits in mental clarity. You will also see fat burning occur during that fasting time frame. And if a majority of those hours are actually while sleeping, why not? right? Today, I have not had anything yet this morning. I have had black coffee. A lot of people have raised attention to a recent Joe Rogan podcast where doctor, cannot remember what her name is right now, she says that as soon as you have any sort of coffee, even if it's black, your body ramps up the system in order to start processing it. Your liver starts processing the enzymes that are in the coffee and the caffeine, and so that breaks your fast. A lot of other people at this point have said that that does not break your fast. And so you are allowed black coffee, tea, and water as long as there's nothing in your tea, in your coffee, nothing in your water, obviously. The doctor did say on the Joe Rogan podcast that even though people are drinking coffee, black coffee to be exact, they are considering it to be less optimal than if you did not drink black coffee. It's not optimal, but you are gonna see results. So it's kind of like, hey, it's better than doing nothing, but it's not the best. If you want the best results, you want water and that's it. If you wanna be able to do this and not put a bullet in your brain, meaning you're not gonna to wanna to kill yourself because caffeine is an appetite suppressant. And if people have problems or people struggle with wanting to eat as soon as they get up in the morning, the best way to combat that is a cup of black coffee because the caffeine suppresses your appetite. So my body is used to that. And my personal transformation right here, my personal transformation 80 plus pounds weight loss was done while drinking black coffee, training in a fasted state every single morning, and then breaking my fast around 12 or 2 p.m. depending on when I ate the night before. I've trained my body to intake nothing. Psychologically, I don't even crave food in the morning anymore. I don't look at food, I make my lunch for the day, it doesn't even phase me. I want nothing to do with food until around 12 p.m. and then my body kicks in and it's like, I need food, I need food now. It's a psychological game. So today I've had a cup of black coffee and that's it. I'm gonna have coffee, coffee, coffee. I'm gonna get a cold brew at Starbucks an hour from now around nine or 9.30 because I have to pick up a good friend in Philadelphia at the airport. I'm just gonna drive there, coffee, and when we get home probably is when we'll intake lunch depending on what time that is. So my BMW is in the shop and of course they give me a BMW amazing 2018 whip. Now, if only they'd hook me up with it for the same price as my car. So if you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about regarding this intermittent fasting thing, make sure you click the video right here because that video is going to give you the quickest way to understand what we're talking about with intermittent fasting. Oh. While I'm doing this, I just remembered the doctor's name. It's Dr. Rhonda Patrick. I'm taking a stop at a stop sign right now to talk a little bit more about this. What about zero calorie drinks? What about zero calorie artificial bullshit energy drinks? To be honest, avoid them. I try to avoid them as much as humanly possible. And if I'm out of coffee for some reason and I have to do an energy drink, I will. But at the same time, it's a matter of optimal or not optimal. If you want the most optimal, quick, fat burning, weight loss results, Results, you need to drink water only because that's what they're saying at this point but if you want to still get by not hate every minute of this then intake some caffeine why not we got to get to Philly we got to get going
Intermittent fasting has completely changed my life and my lifestyle. That's the concept here. So many people hit me up and go, well, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Should I change my eating window to this or that? Listen, if you cannot stick to it, and if you're not gonna create a lifestyle off of intermittent fasting, it's not gonna work. You have to retrain your brain because you have trained your body like Pavlov's dog. If you don't know what that is, I'll have to link that below, the study for Pavlov's dog. So the first thing you're gonna ask is why is this relevant, right? Instantly, we are always, always conditioned to just want to eat breakfast when we wake up because that's what we've done for years and years and years. I mean, since we were babies, we had a bottle in our mouth as soon as we woke up because that's what we wanted to make us feel better, to be soothed. Pavlov did exactly that. Where what he did, we need to reverse condition our bodies where Pavlov was like, hey, naturally dogs would salivate when they got food. and just watch. And if you're interested in learning more about it, you can click the video link in the description below and watch more about it. Classical conditioning is exactly what we need to reverse in this situation in order to become successful at intermittent fasting. Watch this. Bob had discovered a fundamental type of learning called classical conditioning. An original stimulus elicits an automatic unlearned response. Both stimulus and response happen naturally. They are unconditioned. So like I said, if that's interesting to you, watching the whole study and how he kind of figured this out and how he measured everything to find out what classical conditioning was, watch the video link in my description. Back to the video. It's basically the fact that every single day at the same time would ring a bell and then feed the dog. So the dog kind of got used to it where he's like, okay, the dog will wake up, stretch, walk out, look at his master. His master would look at him and say, hey buddy, are you ready to eat? Oh, it's 9 a.m., ring the bell, feed the dog, okay? So it's a process. So the dog gets used to that because we're creatures of habit. So it got to the point where anytime the guy would ring the bell or anytime at 9 a.m., the dog would just be hungry and salivating instantly. So he measured the salivation in the dog, the saliva glands or whatever you want to call it, and realized that the dog didn't even need to see food, smell food. He didn't even need the bell anymore. He just needed it to be 9 a.m. And that's what we've trained ourselves. So we're psychologically invested in food at breakfast and you have to break yourself of that quick update just getting to the airport right now to pick up Brittany my wife's friend and still haven't had anything just water and coffee and I'm gonna pick her up right now and then get back home I'm back home and it is late in the afternoon much later than I assumed it was going to be it's 4 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything yet today. I've had a coffee. I have had another coffee because I stopped and got coffee on the way to Philadelphia. And now I am having a sparkling water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to either A, eat a meal now and then eat a meal around an hour or two from now when everybody else has dinner, or I can basically whip up some sort of protein snack right now, have that as my lunch per se, and eat something a little bit later. I've been really on a kick of eating protein cake. And people are gonna be like, what, are, what, what, protein cake? Protein cake is the most amazing thing, and I'm gonna teach you how to make it right now. Two ingredient protein cake, almond milk, and your favorite protein, here we go. All right guys, so please note, this is not a normal thing I do. Normally I'm eating lunch at noon through 2 p.m. because I'm starving. But today, since I had to drive to Philadelphia, I didn't want to break my fast with something like a cheesesteak. And so I didn't want to get something crappy at the gas station, not film it, and I wanted to make sure I busted my ass, got home as quickly as possible to then take my supplements because you take your supplements in your eating window, everybody. Make sure you're taking your supplements in your eating window and not in your fasting window because things like fish oil do have calories and do have enzymes in them that your liver does break down and your body starts to process and that counts as calories and that breaks your fast. So make sure you take all of your supplements. I got my daily vitamin right here from Garden of Life. I got my X Endurance supplements right here. I got my Wabenzine for my joints. I got some BCAs. I got some other pills right here that I take on a daily basis to keep myself functioning perfectly. In the background you see both ingredients needed to make the protein cake. So make sure you have those ingredients ready to go. And then if you wanna have some sort of sweetener or anything like that, whatever you wanna do, protein cake, super easy. 
two scoops of this going in, one cup of this. We're gonna whip it up until you get a certain consistency. This is hands down my favorite quick snack. It's absolutely delicious. I've been eating it every single night this week and I always recommend this. Hold on. When you're cutting people, when you're cutting and you're dying for peanut butter, I absolutely love peanut butter. Peanut butter is my weakness. I could eat spoonfuls of it. I could eat entire jars of it. I absolutely love the stuff. This is what's gonna save you, PB Fit. Right here, if you have not tried this, find it. Amazon it, get it immediately. You can take vanilla protein or chocolate protein, throw a scoop of this in there, some almond milk, whip it up, and you got a protein packed peanut butter tasting cake, and it's absolutely delicious. Here we go. No, X Endurance does not come in a jar like this. X Endurance comes in a bag. I had to make do because when I first got my X Endurance this past month, I cut in with a knife and I cut the bag wide open and there was powder everywhere. This is my snack, super, super macro friendly, obviously. I'm gonna throw on some of the Master Walden Farms, sugar-free, calorie-free maple syrup. So I'm gonna dribble some of that on there and call it a day. Please take into account, this is just a sweet snack. Usually I have a huge, massive green salad with a chicken breast and a big meal, and then I have a protein bar or some sort of protein shake afterwards, but this is a grab and go. It just further proves that intermittent fasting is a flexible option option for you to use in your lifestyle and adapt to what you deal with on a daily basis and it works. If you're having any questions about this intermittent fasting thing, make sure you comment down below as well. Time to enjoy this. I cooked it a little too long. Maybe try two minutes. Maybe try two and a half minutes. If it's a little bit watery on the inside, just cook it a little bit more. This is a little overcooked, but still delicious. What I've done before is I've done this, carved out the middle of it and then put some sort of protein ice cream, like Halo Top or Enlighten or Arctic Zero. Put that in here and then wham. You got a homemade Pazuki cake, boy. The next thing you see will be dinner in three, two, one. Dinner is ready to go. We got black bean pasta, we got chicken, we have Mama Jess's no sugar added, no bullshit added tomato sauce for our amazing black bean pasta. And we have asparagus. This is going to be serving one of probably two, 716. Even if we counted the first cup of coffee I had at 7 a.m., even though I woke up at 4 a.m. to feed my daughter, I would still fall in the 12 hour fasting method that Dr. Rhonda really cares about. So I'm eating my last meal right now. I'm gonna have a snack after this and I'm done. It's all gonna be done within 30 minutes. So before 7.45 tonight, I'm gonna be done eating and I'm not gonna eat again until tomorrow at noon. That's what's amazing about intermittent fasting. Even on a crazy, upbeat, wild day today, that's not the norm. I still was able to hit the numbers I needed to, hit my macros, hit exactly what I needed to to stay on point on my cut in order to keep losing and burning that fat today while in assistance of using intermittent fasting as a tool and not a diet. That's the key. Intermittent fasting and time-restricted feeding are not a diet, they are tools so you can sustain a healthy lifestyle while getting all the benefits from intermittent fasting like I spoke about earlier. Thanks so much for watching this. The next video you'll probably see me do is a one meal a day video. I'm gonna kind of do more of these just because they're educational tips and tricks to kind of see what the lifestyle looks like when doing intermittent fasting. If you enjoyed this, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's at Kern Blevins right here, click that. If you really like these videos, make sure you watch more by clicking this right here. It's gonna be more videos on intermittent fasting and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube by clicking the photo that looks like me. Thanks so much for watching guys. And as always, that's what we do on the Current Blevins channel, family, fitness, fun, the three Fs. Until next time.